And they're both dominant at the face-off backs. And Katie George standing by with Trevor Baptiste for the Atlas and Joe Nardella of the Whips. Thanks, Jay. Trevor, you told me preparing for a face-off is like preparing for a fist fight. Here's your opponent. What's it like preparing to go against Joe? Uh, it takes a lot of focus, a lot of uh, preparation. You know, Joe's one of the best in the game, so it's going to be a great battle tonight. Challenges Trevor presents at the strike. You know, he's one of the best. He's very consistent to the ball. He's super strong, and he plays his angles really well. Luckily, we've been kind of on the same team and against each other this week at USA tryouts, so we're both familiar with one another, and it should be a fun battle. All right, well, enjoy your fist fight, okay? Play nicely. Good luck. Statistically, those are the two top guys in the PLL right now. This is what they've done head-to-head. -head. Trevor getting better of the percentages, but I know Joe Nardella, all he cares about, team wins 4-0. Baptiste was the league player of the week last year. Uh, excuse me, last week. He was unbelievable last week in terms of winning 83% of his face-offs. He contributed some points. I've never seen him more have more impact in terms of the offensive game, winning draws, and then carrying into scoring off the Trying to continue that trend tonight. There in red, Trevor Baptiste in Atlas, white and blue. We are underway in game number two here on Long Island. And it's Atlas that starts with possession. In the house tomorrow night for the uh, the Hall of Fame portion of the program. You got a dozen or so former pro players being honored. The best of the best, and Sal's names in in that realm. This is where Baptiste's game, I think, has is, is gone through the roof since college. The ground ball, the passing, the will, and the amount of, of kids who have benefited with college educations and opportunities as pros is, is uh, it's, it's gigantic. Cardella's first win of the night. Whips trying to get something right off the face off. Can Cannon to the rescue again. Eight saves in this first quarter so we just got to get back to them get stops down here tell kyle's doing a great job and keep going at it thank you let you catch your breath <laughs> they needed that went 11 minutes and 40 seconds of this opening quarter without a goal and yet all the way down one 2019 and 2020 won the championship both years as well change the plane change the plane you i feel like you say that every broadcast you do right Isn't that from love boat Great balance and wrists. Are you Mike? Earhart does a nice job coming in off the wing to win the faceoff. Almost threw it away. Tracked down well by Gutterdick. So Quinn mentioned earlier, we've got the Hall of Fame induction for the first time ever tomorrow. You know, Matt Rambo is on a trajectory to one day be in that Hall of Fame. Absolutely. Pulled out a couple key words there from Coach Stagnina. Move him, meaning passes, side-to-side -side passes to get a goalie's feet moving. Okay, and then from game one tonight, change planes. Get to the middle of the field where your shooting percentage is higher, move the goalie, and change planes. We have not seen a ton from Baptiste and Nardella just because there haven't been that many goals. But Nardella wins this battle. Out of Rutgers and Villanova. So the Whips have only scored three goals tonight and they've got the lead. Two have been two pointers. Earhart and Cursed Rambo's got the third. And we showed you the putrid offensive numbers for the Whip Stakes. Jack and Cannon has. No goals for Atlas in 12 minutes and 30 seconds. Desperate for some offense. Baptiste trying to get him the ball. Nardella digs it out. He's won the last three for the Whips, and they've gained a foothold in this game. Rambo taken down. Wow. Tucker Durkin out muscling Rambo. You never see that. Durkin just piled, drove him into the ground, and landed on him. Sud Clarella powering the athletes under the helmet. Second goal of the night for Matt Rambo. Whips on a 5-0 run.
Did he throw Costabile under the bus? He did. He, more than throw the buses, plowed Costabile over like Rambo oh, just took. To Costabile's defense, as he went to shoot that ball, there was a great che trail check that impacted the... Now, Chanan had 13 saves in the first half, only one in this second half. The whips have kicked it into gear. Atlas without a goal in 16 minutes and 10 seconds. It's allowed the whips to go on a 6-0 scoring run. Atlas have only fired two shots at this quarter. Nardell has done a better job on Baptiste at the face-off X. And the whips' goals have... So many of these games are on TV now, especially in the NCAA tournament. They're all... Get it, get it right. That's what the fans and players deserve. Guy Stagnita just wanted to remind everybody why he's the head coach. He said, let me throw the challenge from now on. Stop yelling at me to do it, okay? <laughs> yeah, challenge lost there for the whip stakes. Goes against his record, right? Yeah. They still got a three-goal lead, though. And if it's a close game late, you can bet on the whips. Rambo had a good opportunity, unsettled situation, backed up by Ken Cannon. Quick off his line, it was the goal. Ken, I'm sure they're here. His dad's a retired New York City police Early. officer. Baptiste just muscling his way to the ball. Finally, somebody got in his path. Earhart wins it and then flips it back perfectly to Burnlore. He, he, he was being hounded. Three twos. For the whips tonight. Michael Earhart, Connor Kirst, Mike Chinachuk. Baptiste wins it for Atlas. Five seconds left. Trying to make something out of nothing. And Burnmore keeps it out. And he rookie Matt Moore, Eamon, and Tom Schreiber. That 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 group just scares the heck out of me. And and for the cannons, the Lyle Thompson Asher Nolting relationship has been intriguing. Those, those two guys really complement each other well. Nol Nolting, a quarterback type with his great size, Jay, and Lyle. The Whips have done that all night. Atlas failing to do it there. Baptiste wins it cleanly. Trevor Baptiste inches away from a goal. Atlas needed it too. Burnmore. Atlas led this game 4-2. Started on the front foot. Baptiste was great. Won seven of the first nine face-offs and then have struggled since. The arc becomes your friend as an offensive player. When you establish the fact that you will take twos and you will hit twos, defenses have to step out. A bunch of miraculous twos. The fact that these guys now have to play hard, as opposed to the college game, sometimes for the last five minutes of games are like... Dreadful. We did uh, Hopkins, Maryland together the last 45 minutes of that game were dreadful. <laughs> Matt Rambo last week, I'm talking to him in Albany. He thought... Well, we, we that, do you remember that, that yeah. Hopkins, Maryland game? Remember we saw, what, yeah. three, was it three goals in 21 seconds or something? Remember it was 12, crazy? 12, three goals in 12 seconds. Was something crazy that Maryland we've never Hopkins, seen before. Three yeah. goals in 12 seconds, so here we go. So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> it all hinges on Baptiste winning this face-off. Nardella digs it out. And the whips are moving on to 3-0 in a battle of unbeaten. 